What is going on, guys? Wiser here, bringing you the recap of some of the most recent wars for Invicta. Uh, this one actually is of our arranged matchup with Reddit Omega, the beasts over there, the uh, really uh, one of the top RWCS clans out there. So uh, I'm gonna hop on over though and quickly check out this uh, less less exciting uh, matchup versus Romanian heroes. Uh, they did use most of their tax miss nine, you know, made it uh, made it not too bad, seventy eight sixty seven, um, you know. So th they tried their best. That's all. That's all you can really say. A lot of two stars all the way down. Got a few three stars up top there, and then just just missed too many of the nines. Uh, but Victor did pretty well. Got a triple there by Robaz. Uh, definitely want to show that one. A uh, few really nice attacks in there. Very heavy uh, 11 and 10 matchup. Uh, fairly even though on both sides, I will say. Now, or maybe they had, they might have even had one down all eight. Yeah. <laughs> so obviously with the bottom base like that, uh, makes you kind of wonder, but um, is what it is, I guess. The Romanian heroes did their best. I don't think this one was a, yeah, maybe it was. Uh, let's just hope those aren't the uh, the B word accounts, but oh well, whatever. Let's quickly check out uh, what I have first. Just going to show a few from this one. Oh, 18. So Matchness really, really pioneered this um, minor attack. Now, bringing miners in the CC, max miners, do a little bit of a queen walk, sort of Govaho style. Sometimes you don't even bring hogs, um, but he's calling this the Mach 9 attack, getting that shit patented. Um gonna go ahead and start walking this queen down uh pulls in the hogs there gonna yank that cc right out to her out it comes bunch of minions <coughs> a couple loons at the end nothing a poison can't handle so he's gonna go on over to that queen poison is down no big deal rip through that stuff very very quickly <coughs> balloons don't stand a chance down they go she's gonna continue her way now down to the nine o'clock section and the idea here is just kind of wrap her around the queen chamber. I believe get the queen at the same time and then just send in a bunch of Valks right at this open alleyway concept. She's going to continue her way any second now. Stuff's going to go down to funnel these Valks into the base. Oh, and of course she doesn't wrap around. Like, really? She doesn't? I mean, I know it's that one spot out, but just frustrating. And the point, of, come on, it's right there. Poison goes down, so there goes that queen right in there. It takes care of that defensive queen. Nice and easy funnel down at the six o'clock spot. So you drop Valkyries on these storages, and it's just a perfect, perfect pathway right into the center of this base. Still has both rages, both heals available. Six hogs, and in come the miners. Interesting choice where to drop these miners. Because um, once you look at the pathing, the Valks are just going to take out this path, so the miners are going to go up and around. The Valks get sucked down into these Teslas and work out perfectly because they take out this section of the base. These miners are just going to continue to do work. So the, the thing about these miners is not only do they move insanely fast, like they almost like teleport to the next building. Um, as soon as they go underground, they can't be targeted by stuff. So uh, they really de-aggro at times, right? Like look at this bomb. It's going to do big damage, but no big deal. Healers on them now, healing them right back up. Going to continue to work through this base, right? Rage spell goes down, just shredding through these defenses. Now, I don't think he's lost a miner yet. There, he finally loses three to that spring trap. So they do hit the springs. Like, like so that's a few, a few things I've seen to defend against these things. They get held up on skelly traps because they have to stand there and they attack the skellies one at a time. So they're standing up exposed for longer than they'd like to, as well as spring traps still in the right places. They really help because the miners will pop up and be standing right on where you have a spring in front of a defense and take care of it. But as you can see, not enough to defend this sexy attack. Really nice tree star in the bag for Magnus. The Mach 9. Or Mach 10? What did I call it? Mach 10? That makes more sense, right? <clears throat> uh what's next 13 13 coming up dan hitting this base like a champ <clears throat> so level three infernos uh quite a few town hall nine defenses here but no big deal drops the uh little baby dragon here getting uh, good value out of that right just instantly taking care of those buildings i mean 10 troop space i think he gets five buildings out of it Anyhow, it does a really good job. The thing about that is it's going to allow, like a minion wouldn't have been able to get that building behind the wall. So if there's a risk of your queen walking up, 
Um, but now that that's taken out, the queen's definitely going to go down. So drops a giant in there, help do some tanking. Poison spell goes down. Just going to have to rip through this golem. It's going to take him a little while. But once he does, going to have access to a big, big part of this base with a bunch of Valkyries in the back here. <clears throat> Finally, that golem goes down. And in come the Valks, right? Nice and uh, nice and easy funnel to create at six. Oops. Uh, Rage spell goes down, throws them all. They're all in this town hall compartment. This compartment's just going to get taken down instantly. King goes up a little bit, hits that ability in one second when get through this wall. I mean, not to get through the wall. Still doesn't use the ability. Thought he used it over here. But the double rage, right? Taking care of things. The queen, of course, is stuck on a wall in true queen fashion. <clears throat> but she's going to step up and help out. Does lose these Valks now by this point. So you look at this raid. It's got four hogs being very patient, which is good. He really needed these hogs. Still has the king and the ability. That's right. He didn't burn the ability there. Drops a single hog on this archer tower to kind of help the king out a touch. <clears throat> but the king goes up instead of going back to that Tesla. So loses the hog. And he's like, oh man, are you kidding me? <clears throat> so king's now going to be through this wall. And the queen's going to step up and basically finish off the rest of this stuff here. Because the king gets out and just doesn't really do a heck of a lot. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Like getting one swing in off there, one swing there, more just kind of walking around, but he's getting healed right back up now by these healers, has the healers on him. There is an air defense that's going to start targeting the healers too. Like really at this point, you're like, man, like how does this turn into a three star? One healer manages to stay on the queen, which is great. Any second now, right? Starts losing healers to this, uh, this air defense, but it's just enough. Right, the king's in there now doing tanking off one of the Teslas. Queen gets in there and drops the hogs, do a little bit of tanking. Just perfect timing on the finish here. Finally takes down this final compartment and it's tree in the bag for Danny Boy. Nice job, buddy. By the skin of your teeth. <laughs> like that's at a certain point in that raid, you're like, there is no way I'm coming away with this. Oops. Oh yeah, that was the last one I wanted to show there. Anyways, oh no. I thought I wanted to show one of Boz's hits. Or maybe that was a bully. Oops. Jesus. Yes, we did. As you just quickly saw there, uh, randomly matched up with We Are Spartans. So uh, that should be a good one. It's the uh, feeder clan of Spartans Legacy. I uh, hate saying the word feeder clan, but whatever. The uh, the training clan. So uh, very similar position as Evicta with a very even matchup. So that's going to be a good one. I just want to check. Was this... Did I miss this one? No, I had this one. That's right. All right. So we're going to check Boz's hit here. Number four. Da -da -da. So extremely open base, right? That's just Valk hungry right there. So really all you got to do is make sure that the Valks funnel up and take out these Inferno Towers in time. So it's just going to walk this queen in, get big, big value, right? Gets that Grand Warden defense and is going to get the Eagle defense right behind it. Going to have to use another Rage spell here in a second as all these cannons lock on and that King and Queen and everything in the CC come out. But you're going to see this queen just do serious work in this bottom compartment. Really wants to get that other sweeper taken care of so those healers can stay put. Down it goes in three, two, and one. So the Raid spell goes down, gonna finish off this stuff, reach up, get the CC troops, poison goes down, take care of the mass archers coming out of the clan castle. <clears throat> so that's a good thing. Might have had a little bit of problems if there was like a couple Valks and a baby dragon there or something like that. But anyhow, as you can see, one more second, this eagle spell is gonna get targeted. So it might have been a little preemptive on these golems, because they or sorry, on these giants. Because he gets takes huge damage from the uh, from the eagle there, and if it just waited like another minute, well not minute, another 20 seconds, uh, would have taken the eagle cannon down. But it doesn't matter. Funnel on this side is created, leaving the funnel on the other side just with this one army camp would have been probably beneficial for a, a minion on that army camp. But everything is going to the core, as you can see. Rage spell goes down, Inferno towers both go down basically instantly. Valk's just got to work through some of these wall mounts, take care of these uh, the back kind of expo and point defense. There is lots of them over there, but realistically, it doesn't matter. Still is the king in there doing work, Grand Warren's in there doing work. Healers are now healing that king right back up. Uh, there's only one, a couple air defense to go um to really worry about and uh sorry not air defense there's really only a few point defense to go uh and this this raid is definitely over it's it's only a matter of time just breaking through these walls now so we're just gonna fast forward this a touch wall one goes down queen starts getting in there grand warren has a couple cleanup whizzies in there helping out too just not enough to defend the rest of this attack bam 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 oops Sorry, just got news. Someone is coming by, but that is tree in the bag for the boss, man. Nice job, man. Beautiful. All right, so 
sexy tree in the bag. Um, yeah, not the craziest of interesting wars, but uh, some really cool attacks and definitely a little bit of competition in there. So just going to hop on over. Reddit Omega handed us our asses 86 to 79. And that is actually with, um, with Reddit Omega... Uh, in my opinion, slightly being behind on the Town Hall 9s. Our Town Hall 9s performed really well. Same similar story as 2.0, you know. Had a few uh, had a few fails up top, myself included. I'm in the Town Hall 10 team for Reddit, for Invicta. So uh, we just couldn't get it done up top, and Reddit Omega really shone through. So anyhow. Okay, so I just want to jump right into this. I mean, uh, just awesome job up top by Reddit Omega. You know, we, uh, we just faced you guys in 2.0. I think it was a quite a bit closer um but yeah uh, just hats off guys just uh well done over there at reddit omega absolutely uh our guys uh, did pretty good for the most part like nothing crazy bad i mean twos on everything got a few triples in there right um big big th10 11 count for this war uh you know the nines did really well like i had mentioned there's only 15 nines to worry about um but yeah i mean overall Good job, guys. I mean, seven, seven star victory obviously doesn't really say that about Invicta, but again, proud of you. Uh, like I said, you know, you followed the war plan, um, did well. We just uh, got some things to fix up top, and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll start seeing some Ws there. <clears throat> Let's check out number 30, Eris, the monster, going in with her level 20 queen and level 16 king. Yes, you heard me correctly. This is what I love about Eris. Just constantly putting out three stars with these lower level heroes just a monster down there for us one of my bottom beasts and up and coming that's for sure uh so goes ahead drops the drops the golem drops the wizards for the final recognizes the high hit point stuff's got to get through so doubles up on some of those buildings getting uh, you know really heavy wizard count on the outside valks go in leaving that trail right into that queen wall is open everything's dandy queen is poison valks are just now getting touched as they're in the base for the first time Poison goes down to take care of the CC with a heal spell to help to heal those Valks right back up because max Valks will absolutely dominate your level 4 Valks if you do not um, have a plan for them. If you just let them go at each other, 3 max Valks will pretty much, will actually in fact, especially if they're all clumped up, if you have 10, max, 10 level 4 Valks, 3 max Valks will really really hurt them anyhow uh but as you see just walked right through the base few hogs in from the top supporting all around the base few in on these outer point defense at like the 10 o'clock location few more at the six o'clock location queen ends up going for a little bit of a walk but it doesn't matter right there's no point defense is targeting her and there's really an air defense and a whiz tower to go finally hits that king ability still has vox all over the base just smashed it eris nice job really really nice job tree in the bag all right, so this is Matchness going once again uh, with his patent Mach 10 attack. I don't know. I, I see all these guys chatting all the time. It's awesome what they talk about. Um, but Match is just a master of this. So Queen Walk goes down. Just going to go ahead and uh, take care of the CC. Doesn't quite get it. I know there's two balloons in that CC, but Poison goes down. Going to take care of these goblins. They, she does take quite a bit of damage. Lots of, see all those troops? Like, same idea with that mass minion. Um, it, the queen struggles a little bit to keep up. Goblins don't quite do it, especially against a level 30 queen. And they were all under poison. So the queen just works through that. She's going to work down now and up towards this queen chamber. Finish off, take out the balloons that are in the CC and start working towards the defensive queen. Take out the defensive queen. Then he's going to go ahead and send in a little, a little beauty of a, a Valk parade here. Watch as this transpires. Going to give us a little times two. Rage goes down. Out come the balloons, like I said. <clears throat> so down go those balloons and in one moment there goes that queen queen's gonna lock on poison goes down slow her right down just perfect placement on all this stuff match nice job and in comes this king goes ahead and drops a few valks now the valks are just gonna play plinko along the outside drops these wizards over here to funnel it off and remember the wall breakers he used to get the lure <laughs> yes that did have a, an effect on this raid does have three and the other key thing about this the four valks go up to the builder's hut now what i thought was cool about that these valks come back and all the stuff's taken out so they just start working on this wall now what happens here is they let the queen in 
and themselves and kind of are a little queen escort now this jump spell down here now notice sorry another point in this raid healers moved over and locked on to the, the king and valks over here so he's got five valks i think over here with the king just doing work miners come in from the back now and they're just going to do crazy crazy work these valks out front with the healers now gets that raid spell down gonna bl make sure they blow through this wall like absolutely nothing miners are going to continue to work through this stuff with that wizard helping them out nothing is in danger whatsoever queen's still over there finally got to hit that ability steps up take down that expo valk still doing work on the outside miners now burrow it right under that uh, wall into the base they're under the rage there for a bit too finally loses one to a to a spring trap but look at the value you get in these miners he dropped them way back here they're all have taken all the stuff still has two of them up and working on stuff clean up time hogs are in his base is done for a little troll tesla action in the corner but it does not stand a chance balloon to take it out beautiful raid match swag cumin ability swag wizards what's up nice job okay so 26 silence <clears throat> silent has six pack this war really really nice job buddy uh you know look not the hot not max heroes by any means 2024 20, up against uh almost max heroes 30 26 doesn't matter cold blooded golem is in funnel troops are down sorry my bad shattered entry is in funnel troops are down <laughs> uh wall breaks in just very standard double jump go over here right guys i mean shattered entry get the wall open go in take out the queen jump the box over take out bombs keep them healed and send in your hogs and you're looking very good <clears throat> so everything's now going to move in queen is really important to get that big funnel down because you want your queen following in in these attacks you're not doing a queen walk so your queen needs to be with this stuff help take care of the cc troops help just clear the stuff around as the valks move in and through the base poison spell takes care of that stuff even the king's getting poisoned in there uh queen's about to step up and help out with that stuff defensive king is down Queen is still standing, just so, this is what I'm talking about, right? All the Valks and everything went down this way, but this Golem's standing there doing tanking. Well, if the Queen wasn't there, the Golem would be a waste, but it's really not actually at this point. Um, so interesting thing too, that the Queen stands there and helps the Golem with the wall, but uh, everything else is into the rest of this base. Hogs are sprinkled in at all different locations. They're all going to meet up under this Tesla farm where there will be a heal waiting for them. Down goes the heal. If you just shifted this heal up a touch. See, a little waste, like if you just shifted it up a touch, you're gonna see in one sec, here come the other two Teslas. He would have healed both, but it doesn't matter. Has just enough, this queen is now finally making her way up just as the hogs get there to do some tanking. Start working on some of these defenses. Still has that ability he's about to burn too, but there's just too many hogs. Tesla one down, Tesla two down, wizard tower down, drops the wizard on that mortar, and this base is done for. Beautiful. A little bit of cleanup. Still some Valks down there too. Maybe a Valk, two Valks actually. And it's tree in the bag for silent. Good job, man. Pumping up the recaps today. All right, match again. Sorry, I know I'm showing a lot of match stack. I really want. I really am pumped about these minor attacks though, and uh, really wanted to promote this for him. So. <clears throat> same idea right we're bringing a bunch of valks very few hogs are very light if if any like i've seen this attack now done with with no hogs but it's nice to have a few to send in with the miners sometimes it, it varies on the base right you just got to pick where you think the miners are going to get the best value and have the best um sort of funneling because they have funnel through every building they don't just go to defenses right so that's something you really got to think about where are those things going to go are they going to be safe or they're going to go into certain death um but with how quickly they move between buildings and the fact that they de-aggro every single time a building dies and they go back under it's just fantastic because even if one's taking damage and goes under with very little health it's the old like i don't know if anyone plays starcraft 2 and use roaches a lot i played zerg a lot and that was the key when you got roach burrow and you would micro right you would drop you would <laughs> burrow a roach that was taking damage so that the units would start attacking one of the full health roaches. same idea right miners are going to go underground when they come back up it doesn't necessarily mean the same target um is going to be had so a full health miner could get uh locked onto poison spell goes down nice little comp i think this would be a very common town hall uh, town hall nine comp you'll see which was two valkyries uh ground filler like barch Oh, and a baby dragon and reason being is because two valks and a baby dragon can do serious damage to your queen if you were not ready for it 
And that's just a cool comp altogether. So then you got to see that baby dragon raged up. So Val for that funnel with that wizard. Going to get pushed right back into the base. Standing on this wall now. Wall break is clean and good, even though Skelly Traps almost took them out there. Valks are going to move in through this base, start taking out all the stuff. Really good value on these two compartments here, and then jumps into the corp. Working the way through, in come these miners now from the sort of five o'clock area. They do do a bit of a split, which sucks. Might have wanted to try and funnel off uh these two buildings right here and then everything would have went in and up but it doesn't matter because they end up kind of meeting back up anyways because it, it, there's a natural gap here so once this uh this gold mine goes down the miners are going to join back up down it goes huh they'll go to the barracks but whatever you got what i mean everything's now meeting up kind of on the outside here queen's in there doing work as well there's nothing to attack this queen she has no healers mind you but it's just going to get good value on her own in this core hogs are in there's a cannon a couple cannons on the outside here whiz tower and an arch tower with all these miners under the healers now king's in there with the healers as well doesn't stand a chance three wizards plus a hog moving in beautiful match you really got this attack down very very sexy man the miner so Tree stars in the bag for match. Another six pack for this guy. He's uh, he is a beast, I tell you. <clears throat> uh, another one I wanted to show. Really, 21. Oh, I skipped it. Was MBD. Guys are learning for match here, and MBD brings his own variation. Look at this. Two golems, a CC full of miners, ten balloons and ten valks. So a little like Govalo with miners. Whatever you want to call it, a Govaloner. <laughs> Govaloner. I like that. Govaloner. Beautiful. No, that doesn't work. Govalomer. Something like that. Whatever. <laughs> Anyways, funnel's creative. Wall is open. Valks are going to walk right in. Big bay compartment letting everything in that next. I think he's going to drop a jump. Oh, no. He did not want this compartment. He didn't want his Valks straying to the outside. That was the reason being for that. Needed to get everything to that uh, to that queen chamber. So that's why you'll see this little intersection is not connected. Everything's going right into the core. Bam, bam, bam. Going to get sucked right down to that queen chamber. Has another heal and another jump, right? Has these miners in on the base where? Where did those miners go? Oh, they're up here with the queen. That's right. <clears throat> so queen's walking around the base. Uses the miners to kind of work through the these defenses uh, inside under the walls as the queen walks around. So just perfect job with that. Valks are in, ripping up these Teslas. Offensive heroes are down. In come the balloons. There's one air defense up here that everything seemed to miss on the way. Um, which is, is kind of sucks, uh, but leaves a few, a couple of balloons, a couple of like has just enough cleanup troops there, right? Queen's working around from this side doing cleanup. So really just that air defense is the only scary thing for those balloons. The balloons probably aren't going to make it over there in time, I don't believe. There's not a lot actually to, they have to go to the cannon. Yeah, there's no way they're going to make it. But, oh, and a bomb to the face. But it doesn't matter, right? Still have two balloons in the bag. Just going to save those. I think they might even pretty much be swag because I'm pretty sure the air defense is the last building to go down here. <laughs> Maybe not quite the last, but very close. I think the town hall is the last thing to go down. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Beautiful. Two swag balloons, MBD. This minor attack is OP, if you ask me. Really nice job. Treat in the bag. So I think that was it. Uh, just really pumped to show these minor attacks. See how these guys are uh, really capitalizing on the uh, power of that unit. Uh, I know it's not that crazy considering you're only taking six of them as um, as a Town Hall 9, but I think they can have a huge effect on your raids, and who knows, as these Town Hall 10 and 11 guys really start getting accustomed to these new troops, what that can, that what that what is going to mean for the game up top, because um, it's getting, as, as we're seeing at least in arranged matchups, um, it's getting easier and easier for the Town Hall 11s to bully the 10s, and it's, it's becoming more and more it's not a guarantee but it's becoming more and more of a guarantee of a bully of an 11 versus 10 so once we start really figuring out some cool strats that you can use on a regular basis at like the town hall and you guys already are i'm seeing them with bowlers and with the miners and combination of the two um just th this game is is really being uh, a lot of uh, new cool attack strategies are being unlocked and it's really cool to see so Anyways, Reddit Omega, fantastic war. Uh, hats off, obviously, really uh, showed him Victor, who's boss. Uh, Victor, tough man. Uh, like I said, overall, though, um, held your own, and uh, I think overall put a, forth a pretty good effort. Just uh, sucks that uh, didn't quite uh, didn't quite work out in our favor. Uh, so, uh, again, nice job, Reddit Omega. Until next time, uh, that'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser, just trying to help the bag that next tree star. Till then, I'm out.